students welcome back to the channel today we are going to learn about 8th standard science the topic name is changes around us part 1 for this video we want to learn chemical reaction difference between chemical changes from physical changes chemical reactions takes place by physical contact solution of reactants electricity heat light and catalyst as you studied earlier in 7th standard changes like folding a paper drying with clothes bending of iron rod or some examples for physical changes on other hand changes like burning of paper digestion of food turning of a milk into curd and decaying of vegetables or some of the examples of chemical changes so first we move to what is chemical change a chemical change is a permanent irreversible change and produces a new substance a chemical change is a permanent irreversible change and produces a new substance chemical changes are otherwise called as chemical reactions because one or more substances that is reactants undergo a reaction to form one or more new substances that is products so reactant gives products in a society people live in different conditions not under same conditions likewise all chemical reaction will not occur to all conditions for every chemical reaction to takes place certain specific condition is required chemical reaction can be done through number 1 physical contact number 2 solution of a reactants number 3 electricity number 4 heat number 5 light number 6 catalyst before into the specific conditions of chemical reactions we want to know about the difference between physical changes and chemical changes physical change a physical change is the change of a matter that occurs without changing the chemical composition of a matter for example the molecular formula of water is h2o that is water contains two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom if suppose the water is changed to solid state that is ice cube the molecules of ice cube does not change that is the ice cube is also having the same hydrogen atoms and the oxygen atoms there is no changes in the chemical composition of water chemical change a chemical change is a change of chemical composition of matter physical changes are usually reversible chemical changes are usually irreversible in physical changes new products are not formed in chemical changes new products are formed physical change some changes occurs when heating or cooling is done chemical change changes always involves absorption or release of energy physical change changes have no effect on the chemical bonds of a molecules of a substance chemical change have a different effect on the chemical bonds of a molecules in a substance so first we move to chemical reactions based on physical contact could you remember some of the day to day activities like burning of a matchstick on rubbing iron materials turning into reddish brown why and how these changes happen these changes are due to chemical reaction by contact in physical state for example when dry wood comes in contact with the fire it burns with the help of oxygen to form carbon dioxide which is given out as smoke number 2 when a matchstick is rubbed on the sides of a matchbox a chemical reaction takes place to form heat light and smoke number 3 when quick lime that is calcium oxide comes in contact with the water it forms slag lime that is calcium hydroxide from the above reactions we can conclude that certain chemical reaction takes place only when the reactants are brought in contact with each other in their physical states next we move to chemical reactions based on solution of a reactants do you like coffee how coffee is prepared as your mother does when milk is 
mixed with the coffee decoction the color of a milk and decoction changes due to chemical reaction your mother adds enough sugar to make it tasty when we mix two substances that is reactants in solution form that is liquid form the chemical reaction takes place to form new substances that is product for example silver nitrate solution reacts or contacts with sodium chloride solution to form a white precipitate of silver chloride and sodium nitrate solution from the above reaction we infer that some chemical reactions proceed only in solution form not in solid form so second one chemical reaction based on electricity we cannot live without electricity electricity is very essential for our living we use electricity for cooking lighting grinding watching tv charging mobiles laptops computers water heater etc do you know electricity can be used to carry out chemical reactions yes by using electricity many chemical reactions are done which are industrially very important as you know water is made of hydrogen and oxygen molecules when electricity is passed through water containing small amount of sulfuric acid hydrogen and oxygen gases are liberated and another example a concentrated solution of sodium chloride called brine is electrolyzed to produce chlorine and hydrogen gases along with the sodium hydroxide this is a very important reaction to produce chlorine industrially so next we move to electrolysis definition some chemical reactions proceed only by the passage of electricity such reactions are called as electrochemical reaction or electrolysis the term electrolysis was introduced by michael faraday in the 19th century so electrolysis means is a combination of electron plus lysis electron is related to electricity and lysis means decomposition next we move to chemical reactions based on heat we know food is very important for our survival and also many other living beings have you closely watched your mother cooks food for you she boils rice cook vegetables etc by heating them over stove when enough heat is given some chemical reactions takes place to convert the raw food uncooked items into cooked items for example take a small amount of lead nitrate in a dry test tube and heat it gently over a flame observe the changes closely you will hear cracking sound and an evolution of a reddish brown colored gas that is nitrogen dioxide so next we move to thermolysis definition some of the chemical reactions can be achieved by the supply of heat only these reactions are called thermochemical reactions or thermolysis next chemical reactions based on light what will happen if there is no sunlight sunlight is important not only for us but also for plants as well as you know photosynthesis is a process in which light energy from the sun is used by the plants to prepare starch in the form of sugars from carbon dioxide and water these chemical reactions and used by light are called as photochemical reactions so next we move to definition of photochemistry photochemistry is the branch of science that deals with the chemical reactions involving light and the last one is chemical reaction based on catalyst do you like idli yes have you ever question about why idli batter prepared by your mother turns into so taste after few hours the answer for that question is fermentation fermentation is a process in which a substance is decomposed with the help of yeast or bacteria to give simpler products in the case of yeast the enzyme released by the yeast make the reaction faster next we move to definition of catalyst a substance that alters the reaction rate of your particular chemical reaction 
chemically unchanged at the end of the reaction. There are two classes of catalysts. Number one, positive catalyst. Second one is negative catalyst. Positive catalyst, it increase the reaction rate or speed up the rate of reaction. Negative catalyst, they are called inhibitor. Inhibitor means a substance or materials that stops the reaction. The negative catalyst or decrease the rate of reaction. For example, metallic iron is used as a catalyst in the manufacture of ammonia using Haber process. This ammonia is a basic material for the production of urea, an important fertilizer in agriculture. And another example, in Vanaspati ghee, that is Dalda, preparation finally divided nickel is used as a catalyst. Next we move to definition of catalytic reactions. Speed of the certain reactions is influenced by the catalyst and such reactions are called catalytic reactions. Enzymes and yeast are called biocatalyst. For the next video, we will learn effects of chemical reactions, production of heat, light, sound and pressure, evolution of gas, change in colors and change in state in changes around us part 2. If you have any doubts and suggestions, give your feedbacks to the WhatsApp group. Thank you. Have a nice day.